So today we're making squash lasagna. Um, very easy, very simple. You have two pounds of ground lean beef, and then you're gonna layer your lasagna with, guess what, squash. So here I have my pan layered. Um, the first layer, which goes at the bottom, I used one squash for this. You're gonna need about three squashes if you average out that each layer is gonna take you one squash, depending on how you slice them. And if you're used to watching my videos, you know that I start everything by caramelizing one small onion. So in this pan, I'm gonna cook my ground beef, um, but before I'm gonna caramelize this small onion and then I'm gonna add my meat to it. So now that the onions are caramelizing um, and are a bit translucent, I'm gonna come in and add the meat. And here I have three pounds of meat. Don't worry, I'm not gonna use all of this meat for the lasagna, but whenever I'm making ground meat, I like to cook it in advance in case I'm gonna have other dishes that are gonna include it, and tomorrow, I'm gonna do something great with the leftovers. So to the meat, I've added one tablespoon of salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Um, I'm also gonna throw in three pods of my sazon, but if you don't have the sazon or you're not interested in making it, this in and of itself is just enough. The one thing about cooking that I like to remind people is that not all of our taste buds are the same. So it's very important for you to understand that while you're getting used to cooking. Um, I may be okay with that one tablespoon of salt, somebody else may need less, somebody may need more. So with that being said, at this point is when you start to taste your food. You start to adjust. Does it need more salt? Does it need more seasoning? Should I add more garlic powder? Should I add a little bit more onion powder? Do I want it to have a little kick and want it to be spicy, so maybe let me add some cayenne pepper? Play with your food, because cooking is one of those things that takes practice, um, and there's not a recipe in a book that will show you actual techniques. You get that technique and that savviness and that ability to know what the food is missing by practicing. With that being said, I personally thought that the ingredients that I added were perfect, um, so therefore I'm not going to add anything else to my ground meat, and now I'm going to start layering my lasagna. So now you come in, you add your first layer of meat. To this I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of Rayo's roasted garlic tomato sauce, which is Whole30 compliant. Now that you've layered your lasagna, repeated this step, you're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. 